is Nick with logosbynick.com and in today's tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can create this simple impossible circle sort of uh, graphic using Inkscape. And at any point in this tutorial you could look down at the bottom left hand side of my screen to see which mouse clicks and keystrokes I'm using. So I'll minimize this and get started here in Inkscape. Uh, by the way, if you'd like to know how you can make Inkscape appear dark and with these custom icons you see here on the left, a link to that information will be in the description of the video. So to get started, the first thing we want to do is make sure that the view is set to custom. And then we're going to zoom in at one to one. Then we'll open up the align and distribute menu with this button up here. And then we'll open up the edit objects, colors, gradients, and stroke menu with this button here. So the first thing we're going to do is create a circle. So let's grab the circles and ellipses tool and hold control and shift in the keyboard and click and drag on the canvas to create a perfectly round circle like that. And then uh, I'm going to take the opacity of this and bring this down about in half. And I'll go back to the select tool up here and I'm going to duplicate this circle by right clicking it and going to duplicate and turn that red and then hold control and shift and, and grab this bottom right arrow down here and just click and drag to scale this in about that much. And once you have it in about that much, you can hold shift and click on the black circle beneath it and go to path difference. And what we're going to do now is turn on the uh, snap to smooth nodes button up here. If you hover the cursor over the button, it'll tell you which is which. You want to turn on the one that says snap to smooth nodes. So go ahead and turn that on. And then we'll duplicate this object by right clicking that and going to duplicate. And I'll turn this one uh, red. And I'm just going to move this off to the right until it snaps onto the left edge or the right edge of this left side of this circle right here like that. So we have these two circles lined up like that. And what we want to do now is click and drag over both of those to select them both. And we could turn off the snap to smooth nodes now. And with those both selected, we'll duplicate them by going, uh, right clicking and going to duplicate. And we'll go to path intersection. And we'll turn that green. And what we'll do with that is we'll go to path break apart and then hold shift and click on the green object up here to deselect it and then hold shift and click on the green object down here to deselect that and then everything else should be deselected if you have anything else deselected after doing that just press delete on the keyboard sometimes there's little fragments that get left over over here on the uh, left and right so um, all right so the next step would be um, let me just take a look at this real quick okay so I'm gonna take this green object up here and I'm going to turn this red. Actually, you know what? Let me undo that. Click the undo button. Oops. Undo, which is up here. We're not going to turn that red just yet. First, we have to right click that and go to duplicate and hold shift and click on the black object and go to path difference. Then we'll take the green object. We'll duplicate it again. Right click, duplicate, hold shift, click on the red object, path difference. And we'll do the same thing down here. I'll take this green object down here, right click that, go to duplicate, hold shift, click on the black object and go to path difference. And we'll do this one more time. Click on the green object, right click that, duplicate, hold shift, click on the red object and go to path difference. And what we're gonna do now is with the red object selected, we'll go to path, break apart, and then hold shift and click on this red object over here to deselect it. And while still holding shift, click on this smaller red object to the left to deselect that. And the only thing left sh that should be selected are these little fragments and pieces here. You you'll, be, you'll, you'll be able to see them highlighted by those little bounding boxes. And uh, it's these things right here. It's just a little fragmentation that got left over after slicing all of the objects. And with them all selected still, we just press delete on the keyboard to get rid of them. And we're going to do the same thing over here with the black object. We'll go to path, break apart, hold shift, click on this black object to deselect it hold shift, click on that black object to deselect it, and we just have the little fragments left selected, and we can just press delete on the keyboard to get rid of those. So what we'll do now is now we'll take this green object up here, and we'll make this red, and we'll take this green object down here and make this black. So we have the structure of it all set. So all we have to do now is unify these things together. So let's grab this object to the left, hold shift, click this black object down below, and then hold shift still and click this black object over here so you have all of the three black objects selected and go to path union and we'll do the same thing with the red objects we'll click on this red object hold shift click the red object to the right of it and hold shift click the red object to the right of that unify that all together by going to path union and we can click off of that to deselect everything 
So the only thing we have to do now is, well actually one of the things we have left to do now is we have to make the top of this flat. You notice here on the thumbnail, like the top of this is like flat. Over here it's kind of like it kind of dips down a little bit. And let me zoom in on that to show you. I'll press plus on the keyboard a few times. And how we're gonna close that up is, uh, we'll turn, we'll go back to up here, we're gonna turn on the snap to smooth nodes again, and then we'll turn on the snap to cusp nodes as well, which is to the left of it. And we'll grab the Bezier pen, which is right here, or you can just press B on the keyboard to grab that. And then just snap it to the top of this object over here, which is right there. Click, hold control on the keyboard and bring that line straight across until it snaps. Or you know what, you could let go of control and just bring the line over there until it snaps to that one on the red object and click. And then bring this through the center here, up around here and back to the starting point. We'll go back to the select tool, hold shift, click on the black object and go to path, union. And then we'll take the red object, we'll click on that, right click that, and go to duplicate, hold shift, click on the black object, and go to path, difference. And then we'll come down here and do the same thing. I'm just gonna press down on the mouse wheel and move the mouse in order to come down here to move the page around. And again, we'll go back to the Bezier pen, which is right here, or you just press B on the keyboard, snap to this circle, click, snap to this circle, click, finish the shape going through the inside of the graphic, back to the starting point, go back to the select tool, hold shift, click on the red shape, and go to path, difference. Oops, not, not difference, I'm sorry. We'll go to path, union. And then we'll click the black object. We'll duplicate that, right click that, go to duplicate, hold shift, click on the red object, and go to path, difference. And I'm gonna press one on the keyboard to zoom back out to 100%. I'm gonna turn off the two snapping buttons right there. And I'm going to click and drag over both of those so I have them both selected. Bring the opacity all the way up. And then just take this arrow to the right and just click and drag that to the left a little bit just to make that a little more narrow. Maybe about that much. That's pretty good. And the final step would be to color this thing in with gradients. So if you see here, I used red and, a, and gray, uh, linear gradients for both. So click off of that to deselect everything. Let's click on just the red object. And under the fill tab, we'll click the button right here that says linear gradient. And I'm going to press G on the keyboard to get the gradient tool. And I'm going to click on this stop over here. Bring the opacity all the way up. And under the fill tab and under the HSL tab, I'm going to come down to the L row and slide this to the left to make that darker. Maybe about that much. And I'll take this darker stop and put it at the bottom. Maybe about down here. And I'll take the lighter stop and I'll hold control so it locks it to the vertical axis and goes straight up like that put that up there. And then we'll click on this black object. We'll make this uh, maybe 50% gray. That's pretty good. If you hover your cursor over the shade, it'll tell you which percentage it is. I used 50% here. And again, we'll click on linear gradient. Click on this stop right here to the right. Bring the opacity all the way up. Take the L row and slide that to the right a little bit to make that lighter. We want it to be a light gray. Not quite white, but almost like that. That's pretty good. We could take that stop and put that to the bottom. Take this stop, hold control to lock it to the vertical axis, up there like that. Go to the select tool, click and drag over all of it, group it together, and that's it. We created our very simple impossible circle icon using Inkscape. So if you have any questions, let me know, and as always, thank you for watching.